Hey guys, Adam with Swell. Today we're going to talk about how to winterize a Malibu M5 motor. We're in a 2023 Malibu response currently, uh, but this process is going to be exactly the same if it's a V-Drive as well. So I'll show you the difference. Uh, there's just one extra plug. The best way to winterize these is to drain the block, which is the pole. In this case, this boat is a direct drive, so it has three blue plugs. The V-Drive is going to have four. One of them is going to be on the V-Drive. Um, so in this case on the port side we have two blue plugs we have one on this main hose right here that runs through the trans cooler you're going to unscrew this and let it drain completely and then we have one here on this little nipple hose here open this up a lot of the time sediment can build up because this is at the bottom of the exhaust so if you get any sand or anything so some it's you want to stick something up there or shake it and make sure you get any sediment out of there but pull this and let that drain and then there's one more in the exact same spot. There's one more right here on the starboard side on the exhaust manifold here. So here's the exhaust manifold and it's right at the bottom here. Now if you have a V-drive, there's going to be another one on the front of the motor underneath the V-drive. It'll be a blue plug. It'll be on the front of the motor. In this case, this motor is going this way. It'll be This motor will be backwards underneath the V-drive. Open that up and then you can get the motor drained. The next thing that you always want to do is put the plugs back in. Once it's drained, put the plugs all back in and start the boat for just a couple seconds. That will blow any additional water that's in the system out and blow it out into the, um, out the exhaust. This M5 motor is closed cooled, so if you do have a heater, that's going to have coolant running through it. So there's no reason to, you know, unhook your heater or anything. That's really all you have to do to winterize these boats, and you're good to go. You can fill them with antifreeze, so you can hook up a fake lake, or if you have a flush port, you can run antifreeze. It takes about six or seven gallons to fill up the fill up the system and dump it out the exhaust, but you can fill it up with antifreeze until it starts dumping out. You don't need to let the boat warm up or anything like that because the whole engine side of this is closed cooled it's on coolant so the thermostat doesn't need to open or anything like that you're just basically filling the exhaust and the coolers trans the heat exchangers and the coolers with the antifreeze that isn't necessary but you definitely can if you'd like that's all you really have to do outside of your service package your oil changes tranny fluid things like that